Hello and welcome back to our Askrox Imperium. Let's play poorly. We're here in Ka Shakol. We're heading in this direction. But there are some things we can try. Uh, there's a mission here. Exterminate someone in Kwayemi, which is actually all the way... Where is it? Uh, no. Where'd it go? There it is, back here. Just a few sectors away. Probably get some skill points for that. We we really need, yeah, five point skill point bonus. We need skill points because we really want to push uh, our ship capabilities. We've kind of maxed out what we can do with uh, uh, modules at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and try making some, uh, getting some missions done. Grab that one. Maybe we'll grab this one as well. Two assassination missions. There we go. So that's Restyag. Padurast. Where is Padurast? Over there. So we're going to have to head that way first. going to be a bit of a trek. So what I'm going to do is uh, pause the recording and I will come back once we have arrived. And actually, we're in Kwame. I was, I was looking through the, the organization of these two missions and what we probably should be doing. And it looks like we should actually do this part first. Kill this guy here. easy. Alright, so that one's going to Resky, which is actually f past where we need to go for the next thing. And then the other one ends here. So the, the other, these two end here, and so the next thing, next place we have to go is to Padurast. So that'll, uh, that'll make it easier. We don't have to backtrack. There. Okay. Guns out. I was worried this was going to be a little bit tougher, but it is definitely not. Well, this is an inexperienced. Our 
like it. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Ooh, there's two things over here. Ooh, there's a repair drone. Okay, let's see where we need to go. We need to go back to Resky. First stop. So the game is now, at, is now at B137, which added a few things, but the main thing that it added is a change in the way that life support works now. So now, life support actually diminishes over time if you are, in fact, damaged to the point where your armor is exposed, or your, hull, your armor is below 100%, so your hull is exposed. And then these will start to drop from 100%. Which I actually think is really, really good. That way it gives life support much more of a truly consumable feature. Which is one of those things that I always thought was necessary, was, was, was really needed for the immersiveness of it. Because you can't have infinite protein bars, right? You can't have infinite diapers, you can't have infinite filters. You could probably have effectively infinite regulators, but even they would need maintenance. So uh, I think in the long run it's... Uh, more interesting, more fun to have them be disposable, truly disposable, or truly consumable. I do still wish the default system was that life support drops naturally over time regardless of the damage level, but the default is in fact that way now, so I am playing by the default rules, which is, which is fine. I think I think a really more, I don't want to say realistic, because, you know, it's Astrox Imperium, it's not what it's about, but a more realistic life support system would require a bit of a revamp beyond just what was just done for B137. It is a step forward, I mean, it's a huge step forward, but it is really not exactly, I think, the best way to do, uh, to emulate a life support system where it actually is meaningful in the game. But the dev does want each system to have its own kind of biome, like any kind of survival game would, where you're on a planet surface, right? Where you're just kind of going from place to place, and then you end up in an ice zone, you know, a snow, snow biome, or a forest biome, or something, like Seven Days to Die, right? Uh, and doing it th that way by having the various, uh, if, we, if we look here, uh, where am I? Rescue. We look over there on the right side and see, see life support, luminous flux, hydrospheric density, external temperature, biotoxicity. I mean, it's space. That's not exactly a thing, but that is the way this space is, which, so that's the way it is. Um, and so with that in mind, I think that having a life support system that actively responds to that with or without armor is probably the way to go, but it would mean changing some of these around because food should not be impacted by that. Filtration maybe, heat maybe, waste also probably should not be impacted by external factors. Uh, it just doesn't make logical sense and so it doesn't really suit the, uh, suit the game really, but that's the way we got it. Okay, six skill points. Excellent. Oh, and we got another 38 from leveling up. Oh, yay. Okay, now we can go ahead and undock. And then we got to go one over, right? We got to go to Do. And then drop in our last mission, our second mission. So what I would love to see is a more unified life support system here where you have maybe uh, oxygen, which depletes over time and maybe heat right maybe a, maybe a therm maybe the thermal regulator which would also deplete over time but in a different way we go and we go to value star but oxygen wouldn't deplete based on environmental factors heat might and maybe something like a life support system of like radiation shielding, which would be ablative, so that over time it becomes less and less effective. It gets pitted or something like that. Or, you know, micrometeor shielding or something like that. Although, honestly, armor 
should theoretically handle that. But maybe, yeah, maybe like radiation shielding, say. And that way you could have something that logically makes sense to be depletable over time and to be impacted by external factors in the environment, which is to say in the middle of space. Okay, got three skill points from that. Let's mark it. Let's just, let's just dump. I mean, we're not, not worrying. We're not hurting for money, really. Let's take a look at the university. We have 53 skill points. What we really need to do is get some energy stuff, right? Energy regen, energy systems. We don't really need anything else, do we? Thrusters. This isn't the full list either. This is uh, this is limited. Uh, this university doesn't have everything. Do we want to try to have more? Uh, I think we I think we want to be able to get a second Merc, right? Let's see, where do we get the fleet? Fifty points for another Merc. Mm. Ooh boy. I really do think we need it though. That I think would be really good. Alright, let's do that. Go to the lounge here. Look at mercenaries. We've got a combat merc we can get. This one is a level four. And this one's a level one. What have we got here? Assault launcher, pulse laser, launcher, launcher gun. That's a blaster laser. You know what? Doesn't take ammo. And that's in a, st in a shuttle. That one's in a Tsetse. That one's in a uh, KJF. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. But that's, that's a fabricator spaceship. This is a battleship, battleship, battle shuttle. And this is a pirate just like the other one, but I don't not use I'm not really using the piracy. So let's go with this one here. She'll level up real fast. What do we got for missions? Assassination in um sip. And Yandifer. Is that on our way? That's Yandifer there. Amsip is there. It's not on our way. It's actually all the way back to the beginning. Sure, why not? Let's just go all the way back to the beginning. Select it. Well, should I drop drop them all out? Maybe I should. Let's launch them all, and then we just pick the com the combat drones for what we're going to do next. Okay, toggling friendly fire. And engage target. Bit of a toughie, aren't you? Well, you are in a destroyer, that would explain it. Ooh. 
We are not getting hit much at all, are we? You know, once again, energy is our limiting factor here. Not armor, not healing, it's, it's, it's the energy. Interesting, a whole bunch of missiles. Do either of my guys need missiles? Explosive gun. No, they don't, none of the, neither of them use missiles. All right, so now we need to go back to Yandifer. Once we get there, we'll, uh, finish our mission, sell this crap, and then we'll head back out to the to the frontier. I think we'll be alright now. I mean, we were going to be alright before, too. It's just uh, I wanted to deal with this energy situation. But I got uh, distracted by the shinies of getting a new pilot. A new, uh, a new merc. And where are we going? We're going to Imperium. down there. Alright. Alright, that loyalty is going up very slowly. This one is also going up. You know, we the other thing we could do, well, the morale, their morale is fine. I wonder what would happen if we did uh, the entertainment stuff at a station. Let's go ahead and select all mercs and... What do I do? How do I, uh... Return to, there we go, return to ship formation. points and more skill points okay anything I want to grab here I'm getting distracted I'm getting distracted let's not do that lounge entertainment what do they do boost to morale and in special cases loyalty well let's do that oh they're not dumped Damn it, I spent the money in there. Mm. All right, fine, fine, fine. You don't want to go to a concert with me? That's not my problem. Now we're going all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording because, wow, that's going to be excruciating little. Be right back. All right, so we are now in... What's it called? The Feyan, and we are heading now to Farqua. I can find it. There's Farqua. There it is. But you know what? Let's see. I think I think this one had had a market, right? I just want to unload this stuff. Okay. Get 150k out of that, but again, I the money is not something I'm worrying about. Uh, let's see. Can I get I want what did I want? I want a pulse 5, right? Pulse beam class 5. 
No, not beam. I want the laser. Oh, but that one... That one's still better than the focus that I've got. Right? Because my focus laser only does 11. That one does 18. The main thing being the range, but I don't really care about the range that much. Now, let's see. Where am I going to put my, my pods? Anti-gun pod on the top. On the side. That one's the one on the side. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one over there. Put my pods on either side. And all of my pulse lasers are everywhere else. Pair everything. Now, uh, from what I understand, Momo modified, changed this around to do something new. I think just visually improve the way this works, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go take a look. We recall that I had that weird issue. Not weird issue, it was just I did misunderstood how everything was working. Yeah, so that rotates. Oh dear. I really wish there were a way to do this with a without doing that. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we're going to be stuck at one degree. That's fine. And then this... It's a minus 10 degree... That was the problem, right? So it's a minus 10 degree uh, inclination with a maximum of 45 degrees. If I do more than this, now it goes up. But now... Yeah, all right. Interesting. If it goes up, it reduces that, and then... Ah, see, there's the problem. I need this to stay at my minimum 10. There we go. That'll be nice. Do the same thing with you. Now this can go to 65 degrees. Because I'm not super worried about the ones in the back, about anything behind me. Because I am, uh, I'm rotating around my targets, and I'm not really ever going to be shooting at targets that aren't my primary front target. Now I probably will change that ta that tactic once I switch once we get to the next series, because with the next series I really do want to try to play the game the way it wants to be played with all of the opportunities and features that it possesses, not just the, op the vaguely optimized method that I use now. So I will be trying to target multiple ships and fire at different things at the, while I'm firing at my primary, you know, I'll, I'll try that because that, that is kind of what all of this is intended to do, this rotation and elevation stuff. It's intended to make it possible to do things like, for example, broadside attacks, right? while the rest of your guns are doing forward attacks, for example. We just don't, aren't doing that. So, we're going to leave it like that. Undock. And we are going to... There, those guys are both alright, yep. We're going to move on now to... Where is it? What's the next one? Farqua. Guns out. Drones out. Boom. Raiders have arrived. Where are you, Raiders? There they are. Not that. I don't want that. Uh, I want 
that. No, he still hasn't fixed... Yeah. Momo, what are you doing? Still hasn't fixed the issue of not being able to target the guns on... Uh, using the, the right side panel here, unfortunately. targeting? I have no idea. Right, see, I could be, technically, I could be pulling my guns out to the right and firing on that as well, but to do that properly, you kind of have to pause the game and do, and you have to do, you have to think more tactically. And, uh, I'm not doing that for this run, but I will definitely be doing that for the next one. Got the officer. Oh, shoot. It was nearly dead. I should have waited. My drones were taking care of that thing, and I didn't. Level 12. Yeah, we've cleared them. All right, let's select and dock. Are these guys still doing their thing? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's go ahead and do a scan pulse. See what we got out here. Nah. Let's maybe go land over there. Ooh, what's this? Got a couple of ship loots. web. I've never used one of those. But it would help us when we're fighting against those guys that tend to try to run back to the stations. It's an active module. Yeah, that might be worth putting on. Max range of 500, so that's not super great. have to drop our uh, orbit range down. But let's do it. Let's put it on. See how that goes. Okay, so we don't have a... Uh, we don't have a market here. That's fine. Let's take the anti-gun pod off and put the magweb on instead. Oh, that's right. I need mag I need the ECM skill, which I don't have. That's fine. Uh, okay. But let's maybe then go and get it. What is that? Electronics? Ugh, they don't have them all here, so that's fine. We have 58 points, though. Don't necessarily need anything at the moment. 
missions. Well, let's see. Mm, laser energy optimization would be nice. That's expensive for that. Hmm. What about the ship? Energy regen, that's 33, same kind of problem. Yeah, let's leave it. We'll just hang on to these points for right now. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.